Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and welcome to another G-Vlog. Today, I'm going to disassemble this Modmaster Triple Sensor G-Shock watch. The watch that I'm using right now is a GWG-1000DC, the Desert Camouflage uh, Master of G model. So a quick introduction to what we're going to have a look today. First of all, I'm going to remove the watch band and show to you guys how this watch was constructed. And second of all, we're going to need to remove the bezel. It is pretty hard to do, so just bear with me. Next, we're going to need to remove the back plate. And fourth, we're going to need to remove the crown. And then we'll remove the sensor ribbon. And then we'll remove the module out of the way. And then that's basically it. Let's remove the lug screw of this watch band. It has a size of 2.5 millimeters. So you're going to need this two over here. And... Alright, this is the screw, the four screw that is locking this Modmaster uh, watch band and also this uh, wrist hugger, should I say, and we have a white washer around it. So this definitely gonna provide some sort of watertight in between this to the watch body over there. So that's pretty interesting that I'll need to point out as well. Let me remove this part over here, look at that. So this is the part that make the watch comfortable, fits very nice on our wrist. We have two of them and it is made out of resin, they are pretty hard. Anyway, nothing much to show there, and here is how the watch gonna looks like without that. Even though I already removed this screw, this huge lug screw, the watch still intact. That's because we have four more pins. Let me show you guys what I mean. I mean look at that. They have this metal pin over here. You need to pull it out just like so using this pin set. Basically, this Modmaster series has two sets or eight pair of shaft should I say that is supporting the whole watch band of uh, four on each side so pull this thing out look at that and pull this thing out over here I'm not sure if you can see it they have one more part of over here that is supporting the watch band even more so basically one two three support for the watch band so you don't need to worry about breaking the look on this model at all really the only weak point about the watch band is the buckle over here which is locked with a standard spring bar just press it and it will came out that easy i mean just look at that it's very simple standard similar to any g-shock out there and this will be the band keeper look at that so this will be the watch band boom, boom, boom. There are no screw at all that is uh, locking the bezel onto here. This is just for decorative only. This is not locking the bezel to the hard case at all. So I could just remove this bezel right away. But it's pretty hard thing to do because the button sits very high up there. So. Alright. That's done. Using a tool, you cannot just use your finger to force it up. And there it is. Remove one side, remove this side first, and then this sensor cover will pop out. Look at that. This is just plastic. It looks like metal, but it is not. This is just plastic. So I could remove this watch over here. Next, remove this uh, bezel from the light button at the front. Right. Let me just try. Force it out very very hard to do because they are really stiff like so and then you could remove the bezel all the way from the crown side of the watch and there it is and you guys could see this this decorative screw on top here just act like a pin look at that there's nothing that's locking it over here just pin if you want to remove this you need to like press it over here like really really hard and then it will pop out or you could just pry it out from this side but I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be very hard or painful thing to do actually. I'm not gonna try to scratch that part at all. So I'm just gonna leave it there just so you know this is how the bezel look like. No screw. It all based on the stiffness. I mean just look at this. Really, really solid bezel even though it's just made out of plastic but still solid. 
so this is the sensor cover again in plastic as well don't be fooled by this part and this is the sensor protector i mean just look at how the details of the holes over there this is what you're paying for to the high price of this model Of this frame very carefully you don't want to bend anything because this part is pretty soft just look at that it looks like so both sides pretty thin metal put this thing over here and we have one more metal to hold it into place with the uh, rubber for watertight I believe so I'll leave it there so that is the uh, atmospheric pressure sensor we could remove the sensor from the inside so let's get into it So and look at that. This is the alpha gel from the promotional uh, video of a mod master. So that's how it looks like. I mean, just look at the back plate. It's just flat shape. I mean, just look at it. so cool, right? So this is where your piezoelectric speaker, and this gonna tell the sensor to stop working when this part didn't connect. Let us do this two gold spring over here. So we have one spring over here for the speaker of the watch, which is this guy piezoelectric speaker. After I remove this back plate. The watch wheel shows open look at that so in this mode i cannot use anything at all so the buttons will fully stop working so that's how important this two spring is do not lose this if you lose one of this the circuit can't, couldn't be connected and you cannot operate the watch at all so be very careful with this part of the watch and let me remove this uh new rubber cushion or should i say alpha gel it is a lot more slimmer more rubbery, a little bit more grippy feels to it as well. You can see all this cushioning points on top of it and a lot of sort of like a texture. It looks very, very cool in my opinion, so beautiful. So let me put this thing over here. We still have an, an O-ring, let me put this thing over here. And that is how the engine looks like. So we have this uh, gray rubber to protect the tab that's locking the sensor ribbon here. So this is it. Have a close look of how the uh, the module the engine looks like so this is the interior of a mod master triple sensor model To put you guys to perspective i have a mod man this is a twin sensor mod man so this is what we have before caster g shadowless this and it looks like this both of this g-shock watch operates on a similar battery this that is ctl1616 so i have all the parts over here and extra battery as well so in order to remove this module i need to remove the crown and also the ribbon on both sides so how to do that if you look really really close to this part of the watch there's this arrow over here let me try to use my nail instead i don't want to scratch anything push and an arrow where that literally what it means push a button or a knob that is locating in this hole over here i'm gonna try my best just to show you guys what's inside there which it is almost impossible to see actually but basically all you need to do is just push that of course i need to unscrew the crown first like so like that if you pull the crown like so you cannot uh remove it you need to push it back and while pushing the crown after you unscrew it push it keep pushing it and then push the button in there and then you could act really need to f just feel it it's all based on feelings actually let me try to uh Right after a few trials and here it is so I don't know what to call that part is but the switch or should I say the hook that is holding uh, to the shaft is pretty strong you really need to feel it carefully 
and then after you press it or push it the crown will be released right away you can actually feel that the crown had been released and here is how the crown look like for this triple sensor mod master model obviously i'm going to add a close-up shot as always but basically this is how it looks like just look at how gorgeous it is this red lining here is the uh, the indicator whether you already lock the crown tightly or not so here it is in my case so much details in there just gorgeous anyway let me put the crown back and now it is time for us to remove this sensor ribbon over there so use a needle like this and attach to this white part over there and flip it upwards and then you could literally uh, remove this ribbon over here just pull it out let me try to uh, and look at that oops drop it here is a ribbon for the Modmaster triple sensor. So this is the barometer or the atmospheric pressure sensor of your Modmaster. Look at how small this thing is. So tiny. So let me pull this thing aside. Do not damage this or else your Modmaster will just <laughs> lose its main purpose. So since we already removed the two things that is important on the watch, we could just pry this module out of the hard case easily like like any other g-shock watch really and let me try to like so and here is the engine or the movement of the uh, triple sensor mod master g-shock watch i'm gonna place it over there uh next to a modman model module look at that anyway this will be the hard case i could remove it even further by removing this uh so I say C clip that is holding this metal frame that's holding this button shaft here the cylinder for the button but it's gonna be pretty tricky it's so hard to do I don't want to do it since I have to remove all one two three four five six of them in order to remove this this part is luminescence for the uh, luminescence index for the watch I cannot fully remove it because it is blocked with this thingy but you get the idea it's very much basic already so this is all that you have in here you can operate the button and that's it and we have this extra alpha gel be placed at the bottom and at the top here I don't know what this GD one code mean but at the front we do have a 12 hour sign over there I'm not sure what that means as well but if you look closer you can see that this light button part is actually IP plated to black so that's pretty cool it makes the watch looks much better in my opinion really unique not fully silver material so no wonder this model price differently This city code ring, I believe just double sided on there. Let me try to uh, pry this thing up. Look at that. Alright. I don't want to fully pry it up. You guys could see we have some black tape or black glue thing over there. So that's holding this thing into place. And that's pretty much it for the city code ring. I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't want to remove it because it might damage the glue. You know what I'm saying? So put this thing aside and this is the, uh, the module, pretty lightweight, all the springs still intact and look at it on the side here, nothing much to see really and since this uh, spring didn't connect to the back plate, I cannot operate the function at all or if I want to show you guys how it works and all but here it is, look at it at this angle which I don't think you guys are going to be able to see anywhere else. Look at the hands, how high they are sitting to the uh, faceplate. Look at all the gap and all. I'm gonna add a close up shot as always. Also, look at the uh, faceplate where the solar panel is located. Oh my goodness, really, really gorgeous, right? Just look at that. Very, very nice. Wow, it's just impressive. But when you look at it just like so, it didn't look as. So I say handsome, just look at how big the module is compared to the actual hard case of the watch. So 
Technically, if Castle G-Shock want to make another version, a smaller version mod master, they could easily do that. I mean, the engine itself aren't as big. The sensor aren't as big as well. The rest could be adjustable. This part, they could make this smaller. So, I could see that this watch, this module is really future-proof. Just in case they want to create a mid-sized mod master in the future, they could easily do that. Let us measure the size of this interior module alone. So it is 33 millimeters, but it's thick though for the height. Height we're gonna have a look at also 33 millimeters. So this is a square watch. <laughs> a mod master is actually a square watch, except they cut up this region over here to make it looks a little bit more oval in shape. Or the thickness though, I'm gonna measure over here, 6.7. If I measure it at the most uh, back to the uppermost part of the arrow and we're gonna have a look at eight millimeters somewhere around there so let me remove this carefully I don't want to damage the hands though if this hands has the uh, some analog motors in there so if you touch this of or if you move it in a way that is it shouldn't be moved you might damage the gear in there and that gonna be a permanent damage and it's gonna be very very expensive to be replaced so just keep in mind guys you don't want to uh, disturb all those anyway let's see how it's gonna weigh as well only nine grams only nine grams <laughs> that how lightweight the engine of a mod master is god is this lightweight the hard case though 38 grams Anyway guys, this is all that you're gonna have inside a Modmaster Triple Sensor G-Shock watch. Now, I'm gonna need to assemble everything back into place and that is all. I hope you guys found this video a little bit useful, informative and entertaining as well for your future reference. Leave a like if it does help you with whatever you want to do with this type of informations for now that's it thank you very very much for watching this is g-shock high fashion channel and um